Welcome back to the Foxy Swan by Carrier Kitchen. No doubt you've seen video of those amazing boards that have gone viral. Cheese boards, butter boards, cream cheese boards, and today we are talking about honey boards, and we are making one this morning in the by Carrier Kitchen. Joining me right now is Marina Marchese, a master honey sommelier. We're gonna try that again. <laughs> Sommelier, right? Perfect, thank, thank you for having you. me. I told you I was gonna get that one wrong. It always gets me. Now this is really cool because we've seen a lot of cheese boards, we've seen the butter boards, and this is kind of new. So for folks who may be getting ready for Thanksgiving and Christmas, other holiday gatherings, you wanna be ahead of the trend. Absolutely. And do a honey board, and we're gonna put that together right now. Yeah, so this is going to be a new spin on boards, and we're going to be using honey. And we're gonna be using honeys from different botanical sources, so we're going to create variety of flavors, colors, smells, and it's really going to be exciting. All right, let's get started. You're going to put me to work as well, Yeah, right? so we're starting out with a ring of brie cheese you mm -hmm. can pick up anywhere, and this on top is honeycomb. Right. So if you've never seen this before, this is actually the honey, the way the bees make it. In the wax, it's raw, and you slice it up, and it just kind of dribbles onto the cheeses. Right, and what so we're going to do is we're going to take some lemon curd, mm -hmm. which is really interesting, and we're going to, I'm going to put you to work. We're going to okay. make two little lines to divide the plate in half. Okay. And on one side, we're going to put some um, cranberry blossom honey, which is in season. And it's got a beautiful red color and mm -hmm. a really fruity flavor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drizzle it on this side of the plate. Okay. So the guest will have the honeycomb, they'll have some of this uh, beautiful cranberry blossom honey. And here, the let's take a curd. spoon, you can scoop sure. some of that out. And then you have another, you have a dark honey. I have a darker honey. So this is a wildflower honey produced from many different flowers. And this will create some really beautiful contrast on this side of the board. Mm -hmm. Here. I was gonna say, yeah, can we do you have a another, spoon? I'm use the spoon again. Yes. All right. So, so you can see already we're creating like all these colors and flavors that are really exciting. And then we're gonna add the nuts and berries. Yeah, so honey, what's great about it, it goes with every single food group. So we can add some nuts to the side, so we can garnish maybe some nuts here. And I can, uh, I'll chop some apples real quick, right? Yeah, so we can put some nuts. You can try any kind of nuts. We have pecans, walnuts, hazelnuts, whatever you like, there's no bad choice. And then I have some raspberries for color. Put some raspberries here. And that green apple is gonna add some really beautiful color. Mm -hmm. There you go, you know what you're doing. I'm trying, we're gonna make this work. There's no wrong way right, to do this. I know. This, you Sometimes know? you overanalyze things and you think, oh, it's not perfect, but it's not supposed to be, right? Exactly. So together. here's some really pomegranates. So cool. I have some cranberries mm -hmm. we can add. And you use crackers. You've got a focaccia here. Beautiful. And you just dip and go. It's already made. I love the colors, all the different colors. There. It's art. It's like it a really beautiful is. art presentation. It really and is. guests are going to be so wooed by this. Um, and then you can use it with some crackers. We have some beautiful focaccia of bread, they can kind of dip in. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna dip, I'm gonna try with a cracker, but tell me a little bit more about all of the different varieties. We only have like about a minute to go over some of these items, and also for folks who wanna get more, they can check out your books. You have yeah, several absolutely, books. absolutely, yeah. So I've written The Honey Connoisseur and uh, The Honey for Dummies. Uh, all about honey, so if you're looking to learn about different kinds of honeys, different flavors, where to find them, it's a guide to all things honey. Mm -hmm. And um, here, this is basically how we do a honey tasting. So you can see the different colors, and each one of these honeys is from a different botanical source. And that's the colors. You change yes, it comes colors. from the bee. So when a bee visits a specific flower, they make honey um, from those different flowers. So think about maybe orange blossom honey. So bees are visiting orange blossoms. And blueberry honey, they're visiting blueberry blossom. Mm -hmm. And here we had the raspberry blossom, um, the cranberry. So the bees are visiting cranberries. So each one of these that's flowers. So fascinating. Yeah, we never yeah. think about how different honey how we is. Get our honey and exactly. where it comes from exactly. And that's why it's kind of important to get it from a farmer's market or a mm -hmm. beekeeper so that you get these luscious colors and flavors that are really diverse, what you don't get maybe in the store. Right, right, right. Oh so this is how we do honey tastings. Um, I do some training with people and basically we um, smell the honey. Like if you're doing a wine tasting, mm -hmm. we look at the color, we smell, 
and then we take the spoon and we smear the honey around That's so that cute. you can put your nose in and smell oh. it. Mm. And you could really, wow. really get the smells there and then we taste it and we write tasting notes the same way we do with wine. Oh, that's neat. I'll do a little yeah. taste real quick. Yeah, take I a taste. I just want to remind folks that they, they can get more information and get your books, right? And they can do more yeah, of their so own research. Yeah, so you could buy, my books are available on Amazon, but also um, my website, Red mm. Bee Honey, which is my small honey business. And then I am um, the founder of the American Honey Tasting Society, which is an educational organization where we work with chefs and we work with beekeepers to teach them how to uh, learn about their honey, the botanical sources, which helps them to market it, mm -hmm. you know, to be able to talk about their honey to chefs and to restaurants and consumers. This has been so fascinating and educational. Thank you so much for being with us. Unfortunately, we're running out of time, but obviously you know a lot and you could continue on, but we will have more information on our website for folks at home. Thank you. Thanks so much for being with us. This is just beautiful.